Some of you who have been following may have been aware that this Saturday, well, this past Saturday, was Roisha's first annual fashion show located in Houston, Texas. Okay, now I had stopped by this live for a little bit and watched the girls do their thing to Cowboy Carter. They walked down the center aisle and showed off their fits. It was playing music, so I didn't stay long. But from what I had gathered, it looked like she had a pretty... um successful event from what i could see however today i had slid past nikki's live while she was speaking and it turns out that things were not as they seemed to me check out what she had to say and let me know your thoughts wait The people that said in the beginning they were there for Roasia and looking out and, and all this and all that. Y'all are a bunch of cowards. And you're a bunch of suckers. And take that however you want to take it. You all intentionally wanted to sabotage my event, but y'all ain't got to answer to me. Y'all got to answer to him. And trust me, when he's been a block on you and he's sitting the cut, and he lets you feel everything you got to feel. I know what that feel like. I know what it feels like. Because I just went through it. I wasn't meant. It was not meant to go anyway. Throughout everything that y'all witnessed. People pulled out on me. And would not reply to me in my phone. But I saw them in all the chaos. I saw them in different places where I was being, baby, talked about like how I was talking about them other people. I saw it all. I heard it. Hmm. But what y'all thought y'all would stop? Just because I choose to move different does not mean that driving me is any different. Down to the last minute, you all. Some people that y'all regularly see on a regular basis. A couple of days before the event. Reaching out. No response. Down to the back end of the event. I was short. Four models. All the clothes outside of what people bring of their own. I had to purchase. I rented that space to fill 150 guests, but I was the only one that sold tickets. But this all came off of people word and how much they supported Robin and my vision and Roasia. It's great what I'm doing. <laughs> I had absolutely nothing and I got in my car and I drove. Sister, you, you ain't even know, Ash. I, I don't even think I feel Ashley in and I love you, sister. I gotta stop calling you cousin cause you sister. I call you sister, not cousin. Uh, we got in my car, Ashley ain't had no idea. She ain't had no idea I ain't have a dime. And I wasn't finna tell her I ain't have a dime. You hear me? I'm just here to talk to y'all real quick, all right? And I ain't finna cry this time because I cried enough already, okay? I had nobody. On the back end of where we started with six or seven people, I had nobody but Tanya. But you've seen people sit, oh, I, everything's this, everything's that. Oh, I, I, I promise I want the best for you. I promise I want this for you. Shut the hell up talking to me. The true version of a lack of accountability in some of you all that are 40 plus years old, that's y'all business, not mine. And you can have it all. I ain't got no parts in it. None. Thank you for showing me. Thank you for allowing me to see what God was trying to show me in the first place. Ashley, we got in my car, I ain't had no money. 
I had gas. That's what I told you. Right? I had gas that hubby had got for me. So, so that's why when we got to the hotel, I had to stand there and put everything I had from every account together to cover the, the room. All the clothes outside of the clothes that you all uh, brought with you, we purchased. I had to take bill money and cover certain things throughout the entire event. But y'all, y'all didn't know none of that, right? Some of you people watching me in the bushes that claim, oh, you love me. I said this on Rage, I'm going to say it over here. Oh, you love me, you love me, you love me. Oh, you're so great. Stop lying. You're liars. And I'm going to tell you why you're liars. Because when you love somebody, and if you disagree with the decisions they make for them, you go and talk to them when you truly love somebody. So take that love and go look in the mirror. And maybe if you apply it to yourself, something might get figured out. But I can't do it for you. 